Okay, now the big deal here is this is an old Champion generator here. And you can see from the front here that uh, the pull cord assembly is broken. So I tried getting a rope, wrapping it around there as much as I could and pulling it, but it only spins it two or three times and it's just not enough to start it, especially if it hasn't been started in a long time. So what you want to do is, there's a three quarter nut right there. Get a three quarter socket, put it on there. And this turns clockwise. And the way to do it is I took a uh, extension, socket extension, I chopped it in half. Had to grind it a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Put it in here, and then I stick this in a drill. With a battery powered drill, you don't need any electricity, but I don't have a battery powered drill. So what I do is I'll put it in this drill and we'll do this. And you may be concerned that once it starts spinning it, you know, 3,600 RPM or whatever it spins on, you know, once I start rolling it, you gotta bring it off it. You know, you don't want this thing to go around and around, but I haven't had no trouble with that. So I've got to start my Honda generator in order to get the drill going to get that going. So I'll turn the switch on here and I'll start the Honda generator. If you have a battery powered drill, you don't need all this, but you gotta get the drill going around somehow. Okay, turn it on, and we'll get it going. And that's that.